Hello and welcome to another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into to-do list apps and I have made a tier maker and we are going to rate all of these to-do list apps. So the first one out is Things Tree, which is a really good to-do list app. It works well, it is easy to use and easy to get into. The only problem that I have is that it is only available on Mac and iOS and I like to use my Windows PC to manage my tasks so that's not too good. So I would put this into either A or B. I think I'll give it a A tier simply because it is really good. The next one is Trello, and I believe that Trello is such an underappreciated underappreciated application because it is a really good to-do list, but it is also a great way to organize your knowledge in a visual way. But anyways, we are talking about to-do lists, so I would probably put this in B tier because a lot of these apps has features that Trello doesn't have. It is very basic and it is a Kanban view. So I would put this into B tier. Now we have Todoist and it is a really good application. It hasn't developed as fast as it should. It is getting really old, but they have made some changes to it lately. But this is an S tier. It is just that good. The next one is Tick Tick, which again is a really good to-do list app. I have used this a lot and I know that a lot of people love it. It has basic calendar so you can do time blocking you can put your task into it and you can organize your task and it is really cheap as well so i would put this as an s tier as well the next one is twos and this is the one i am using right now it is actually not only a note-taking app it is a, a to-do list app. It is also a note-taking app and you can just write things into it. You can publish things. I have made a couple of videos about twos, but since I am using this and I have loved it as much as I've done, this is also probably an S tier. The next one is Microsoft To-Do. Again, a good a good to-do list app, but it works best if you are integrated into the Microsoft ecosystem. So if you have an Outlook mail, it works really great because you can put your tasks into Microsoft to-do and on the computer you can do time blocking. It works well with something like OneNote and it just has great integrations with the um, Microsoft ecosystem but it isn't as good as a lot of the others in here. So I would put this as a B tier. The next one is to do, and it is very simple to use. I have used this and loved it. It is just an easy to use to-do list app, which I recommend to a lot of people. Just have easy to use to-do list apps with the list least possible amount of friction to put things into it. So I would give this an A tier. The next one is Time Stripe and this is sort of a to-do list and a goal tracker at the same time. It is really fun to use. It is very customizable. You can actually put notes into this as well and it shows you several views of things. You can view it in a calendar, you can view it in a year, in a month, just a week, and it is a really good goal tracker, but the interface is kind of confusing and it takes a little bit of learning. So the app is really good, but I don't like a to-do list app that is too customizable and has a learning curve because it creates friction and we don't want friction in our to-do list apps. So I would put this into C tier. The last one is Habetica or Habitica. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but it is gamified productivity. So if you're familiar with RPG games, uh, this is like something that will probably be 
a good fit for you. I play a lot of games, I play a lot of World of Warcraft, or I have played a lot of World of Warcraft, so this was right down my alley, but again, very confusing interface, especially if you haven't played games, and the user interface just looks a little bit old, so I would probably put this into C tier, but if you are somebody that plays a lot of games and are familiar with sort of a gaming interface, I would probably put it higher in that case. So these are a few to-do list apps you can try out. I think all of them are quite good, but they are a little bit different. So some of them might be better if you're planning a goal, for example. Time Stripe might be the best if you are in love with gaming. I would probably test out Habitica. Trello is good if you like Kanban boards. Microsoft To Do is good if you use the Outlook system. Things are good if you're on an iOS device all the time. And these three up here is probably good for everyone, no matter who you are, what your interests are, and what sort of device you're using. These three apps are probably the best ones out there and the most overall good apps out there. So Thank you for watching. If you like the video, if you have any questions, if you want me to dive into some of these, do comment down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again quite soon.